3.3 Graph Systems of Linear Inequalities. So I'd like you to take a look at this comic here, and I want to know how these three equations relate to this Christmas tree that is drawn here. So you're going to have to watch the lesson first, and then I want you to go back and take a note on your paper telling me why these equations are related to this Christmas tree here. So we're going to start by graphing the system of equations. y is less than or equal to 3x plus 2, and y is greater than negative x plus 4. So when we're drawing this, this is already in y equals mx plus b form. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the y-intercept, 2. And then the slope is 3, 3 over 1. So I'm going up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. And so since this is less than or equal to, remember when we had just our number line, if I said x is less than or equal to 2, for example, I would have had a closed circle, and I would have gone this way. And if I had x is strictly less than 2, then I would have had an open circle. So here, when I'm on my coordinate axes, a less than or equal to will be denoted by a solid line, but a less than or a greater than will be denoted by a dotted line. Okay, so when I go to solve this one, I have a solid line. Let's draw a solid line first. And my solution is all y values that are less than or equal to. Everything down here is in my solution set. Now, when I do these systems, I shade the opposite. So I shade in what is not the solution. And the reason I do that is because then, at the end, whatever is not shaded is very definitely my answer. And so it becomes a lot easier than trying to see what I shaded in twice because really what is overlapping between these two solutions is my answer. I'll explain that more in class, but I think it's much easier to shade what is not the solution. So the solution part would have been what's less than or equal to what's down here. So I'm going to shade the opposite of it, shade up here. I'm going to switch colors for this one. I start at the y-intercept, which is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then my slope is just negative 1, so down 1 over 1. But here, I have a dotted line because it's greater than. So I'm going to make my dotted line. And my solution would have been y is greater than. So above, right, the y values being bigger than. That would be my solution. So I'm going to shade the opposite, which is down here. And so whatever I just did not color in is my solution. So I'm going to just highlight that in yellow here. So you might need a bunch of colors. And this is my solution. The yellow part is my answer. Now we're going to do the next problem. And notice that this one is not in y equals mx plus b form. So we have to be a little more careful about which side we shade. It's not necessarily above for a greater than and below for a less than. It's only that when, it, when the y is by itself on the left side. So let's graph this one probably by doing the x and y intercepts. So, so I'm going to do the, so if x is 0, y is 4. Because we have 2, y equals 8, y is 4, okay? And if y is 0, x is 2. Because we have 4x equals 8, x equals 2, okay? Okay, let's graph those two points. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 0. Okay, and let's put a solid line through them. Now, this is another method which also works. You can always do this method as well. You pick a point on either side. If that point works, then that's the side where the solution is. If that point doesn't work, then that is not the side where the solution is. Well, if 0, 0 is on one side, that's definitely the easiest number to pick. So we'll pick 0, 0. 
putting 0, 0 into our equation gives us 4 times 0 plus 2 times 0, which is 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 8? No, it is not. Therefore, that side is not our solution. But of course, we know that our method, we are shading what is not the solution. So that's the side we are going to cancel out by shading it. So this is not the solution. Not the solution. Okay, next one we can do our old method of uh, slope intercept form. So start at negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Right, and then go down 2 and over 1. Down 2 and over 1. Okay, and here we make a dotted line. And in this one, we can just go with the fact that it's a less than, therefore, the answer lies below, and we're going to shade in what is not the answer, so we're shading in all above. So it looks like we don't have any area that's white. Therefore, there is no common area that is shaded in this, so no solution. So let's start with y is less than 2. So y equals 2 would just be a horizontal line at 2. Remember the slope is 0 here, so now it's going to be dotted. And since my solution part is less than, I'm going to shade what's not the solution up here. And then Look, we have an absolute value. What's going to happen? This means that we are shifted one unit to the right, and it's plus zero, so zero units up. In other words, the vertex is just one zero. So let me just change colors. So I'm going to start at one zero, and my V is going to be solid because I'm greater than or equal to. So my slope is up 1 over 1. Okay, so let me make my V. And so greater than or equal to would be what's in between the V. But I'm going to shade what's not my solution. So I'm going to shade all of this. And so my solution is just what I have not shaded. And let me shade this a little bit better here. <laughs> didn't do a very good job. Okay, and so my solution is just what I haven't shaded. In other words, this little triangle right there is my solution. Okay, now we have a system of three inequalities and this is where you're really going to be happy that you're shading in what is not the solution because if you shaded in what was the solution you'd have to find something that interlapped in three different places which is really hard to do by hand so let's grab the line y equals 10 and then shade in the appropriate side 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so greater than or equal to, is that a solid line? Solid line. All right, so let's make our solid line there. And my solution part is going to be up here. So I'm going to shade all down here. Maybe I'll do a better job shading on this one than I did on the last. Okay, next. Okay. Y is less than 8 7 X, so we're going to graph the line Y equals 8 7 X. So we, this is a direct variation, so it goes through 0, 0. And, yep, now we can just graph the slope. Up 8. Up 8 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's also a solid line. And so my solution would have been what's less than, so I'm going to shade the opposite of that. Okay, now we have y equals, or we're going to graph y equals 2 7 x, and then shade the appropriate side. 
So I'm going to start at 0, 0 again, another direct variation. Go up 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is that solid? Mm, yes, it is. And then my solution part is greater than or equal to up there. So I'm going to shade what's not my solution. And so my answer, as you said, it's really Very nice. easy to see now. <laughs> Try seeing that had you done it the other way. Shade it in your answer. It would have been impossible. So that's why we say shade what is not your solution part so it's really easy to see. Otherwise you can see, you know, I'm trying to be as neat as possible here, but if you wanted to see where all three colors overlap, it becomes very difficult, especially if you don't have three different colors on your test. So that's why we recommend shading what is not the solution. And just remember, when you take a quiz or a test, bring in one other color to shade the blank part that is your answer to make it easy to see what your answer is. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.